Hello, first grade. Hopefully in math today, I do a little bit better with my technical difficulties than I did yesterday. I went through and made sure I had all my text boxes on. So let's see how I did. All right, we are still developing, adding two digit numbers. Same stuff. They kind of changed the model it a little bit, kind of what I taught you yesterday. All right, you. this one, you're on your own for this one because um, it's kind of what we did last week. So, all right, let's go. How many shells in all? We have 24 shells on one side, 58 shells on the other side. So we're adding, right? we got to put them together. Ooh, we got our manipulatives here. Oh, can't see my number chart. There we go. All right. If I'm going to use a number chart and count on, should I start with the 24? Should I start with 58? I'm going to start with 58 because it would take me a really long time to count 58 more. All right. So I'm going to find my 58 there. Sorry, that's pretty tiny on my computer screen. You all know how much I love tiny stuff. I'm starting with 58. Now I need to go 24 more. So can I go 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24? And I could have just counted them out, but it's when I'm in the rows, it's easier to go down and just count 10, 20, right? Okay, well, let's see if I get the same answer using my 10 rods. All right, so the first side, I need 20. There's 10, 24. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, that's pretty easy. How about 58? It's going to take a little longer, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. Okay, now I need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Hmm, how can I put... I definitely have more than 10 of the ones cubes, don't I? So I better turn one of those into, into a 10. So let's take, you know what? This is going to be faster, isn't it? If I just take two of those and move them over there. And then remember, you can put a circle around them. And I'm going to use my select trying square rectangle, select all those. And I'm going to come put those back over here because we need a 10 rod right there. Okay, so now let's see. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Ooh, we're getting close. Don't forget your little one cubes. 81, 82. <gasps> Matches. Yay! That's always good. That means we did it the right way, right? Or we did it wrong twice, in which case Give me a call, work on it together. Which addition strategy could help? All right, let's try another strategy that might help. Um, we're going to use the number bones again. So we've got 24 on one side, 58 on the other side. Oh, see how I got those text boxes in there. Now, if we split this up by tens, we have 10 over here, and how many are left? Itty bitty four. And then we have five tens over there, so we'd have 50. And how many ones? Eight. Okay. Now I made this to help us add our, um, our tens and our ones. So if we add the ones that have tens, we add the 20 and the 50. How many tens would we have? Five plus two is seven, but we it's seven D because we have that many tens, right? Why can't I put that? Because 20 plus 50 is way bigger, right? I would have seven ten rods, so I have to do that. All right, then I left I have four and an eight. So what does four plus eight equal? I don't think I made it on to those. So 4 plus 8 equals 
Did you say 12? Okay. So down here I would have 70 plus 12. Now I can I can give one of those tens to the 80, right? Let's see. 12 and 70 we can move over there. All right, so if we break this one down, ah, sorry, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. All right, how about make another text box? So forgive me. Okay, so this was 12, and this was 70. So what is 70 plus 70 plus 10 plus 2? Now I would put those two together, right? And I would have 80 plus 2 equals 80. Too. Obviously, I do not use those tools very often. All right, there we go, 82. Now, this way has lots to do it. If your parents want to show you how to do it this way, 24, make this look like it would, 24, Plus two. Putting it in the middle, isn't it? Fifty-eight. No. That does not look right. There we go. That helps. If your parents want to show you how to do it this way, where you would add you might, you would have a, well, we call it caring. I'm not supposed to teach you that way. If your parents want to teach you that way, it's okay. All right, make it look like that. All righty, let's go on. So here is the way we actually teach it in our curriculum. So parents, if you want to pay attention, add the tens. So we've got our twos and our fives. And that makes the seven. We did that. Remember, we did that in our number bond. That was in our number bond. We put a 70, but they put seven tens here. And then the four and the eight, and that equals 12. And then look, they kind of made another little number bond there, and they added it to this side where it was with the, the tens. And then we just had our poor little two left all over here. So then you would add seven and one, and it would go, an eight would go right there. And our little two that's left all over by himself would be over here. All right. That's what we're going for here. I just. You do it the way it makes sense to you. Sound good? All right. How is adding 24 plus 58 like adding 24 plus 8? Ooh. That one you're going to have to leave a recording for. All right, you've got some apply it todays. And they're not even going to have you do it that weird way. Oh, yeah, they do, right there. All right. Okay, good luck. If you need me, give me a call.